It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, one of my favorite new games from the last year or so was Imperial Settlers, an amazing card game of resource management, tableau building, a nice complex kind of meaty card game. I really love this game. And so today we are taking a look at a new expansion in the game, the Atlanteans expansion. Now there has been one expansion for this game already called Why Can We Be Friends? And that expansion did not introduce a new faction to the four that are in the game. It simply added more cards to each faction that, that existed. This one does add a new faction, the Atlanteans, and they behave in an interesting and unusual way. I'm going to be showing you just a brief overview of what's included in the box. I'll not be teaching you how to play the game, so go check out a video for uh, for how to play Imperial Solace if you don't know how to play that yet. And uh, I'll come back in just a minute here and I'll tell you what I think of Atlanteans. So here's everything that comes with the Atlanteans expansion. You have a rule book, of course. You have the player board, which is a, a puzzle uh, board. comes in two pieces. And you can have it on the side that has the female character or the side that has the male character. It comes with these new resources, these gears, which come in uh, three different kinds, as you can see here. And then the game includes its own player deck of 30 cards. It includes 10 more cards that you can use if you are playing with the Why Can't We Be Friends expansion, then this adds the 10 cards that the Why Can't We Be Friends expansion added to all the other factions, basically. The game also includes 10 new cards in each of the other four factions that are previously available in the game. And these 10 cards basically let you do some very interesting deck building. And they introduce the new resource here, the technology into the game so here you have that technology concept that shows up on a lot of the cards for the Egyptians for example and uh, so that's one over here we have it basically every every faction now gives you 10 more cards and you can deck build to your heart's delight here I, I like the concept of these a lot though I do feel like they dilute the flavor of the Atlanteans a little bit so I will not include these in every game but I like the flexibility that they provide in deck building so if you're somebody who enjoys the deck building aspect of the game a lot then these are a wonderful addition and again they really uh, pump up the uh, the value of the expansion itself because there's just so much content in there now with uh, this expansion, especially you have, if you have the first one as well, lots of content there. And then these two cards are for the solo variant. This one's added to the cards that get flipped up as you uh, as you fight against the solitaire player, or as they fight you, basically. And then you could also go up against the Atlanteans using this card here. And you have a nice deck here of uh, new location cards, and that's pretty much it. So. What does the faction do? What is the, the twist here that it adds to the game? Very simple. It's twofold, really. The first thing is that the faction includes these new resources here. And what they do is, having one of these gears, which the cards will give you, you may place it on a common building. And if that building is an action building, then you may do that action twice. If it is a production building and it has this on it, then it will, it will produce twice. And if it's a feature, then that feature will, will happen or be available twice. So that's the deal with these. These are sort of upgraded ones that are based on the same idea. These are harder to get. And then same thing, but this one means that when uh, this card goes off with this one, you also get a victory point. And this one has a built-in protection of, uh, of one plus one so it's a shield as well as a gear so that's the first thing the extra gears extra resource here which these cards do make available to the other factions 
but the Atlanteans are really the ones that thrive with these extra resources. That's the first thing. Second thing is that every card in the Atlanteans deck at the end of the game is going to sink into the ocean, meaning at the end of the game, normally every faction will score one victory point for every common location, two victory points for every faction location. The Atlanteans do not do that. Every card in their own faction is going to sink into the bottom of the ocean, and so they'll only score these and every point they've made throughout the game itself. Other than that, the game plays very similarly to the original game. You are going to have your own faction cards here. You are going to be producing as much as you can. As you can see, a lot of these production cards will give you the gears in and of itself so that you can, again, pump up your common locations with them. You can put those gears on your common location right before you take an action, for example. And then you'll be able to produce more, etc. And you can make deals with them. And uh, now a lot of them uh, over here can give you, as, as you make a deal with them, they'll produce that gear in and of themselves. And so you'll have plenty of those. Actually, also, the faction bonus here is that, I'm just going to show you the top half here, is that you can save as many gears as you want to from round to round. And they make one, as well as giving you shields equal to the number of players in the game because since you only score based on the common buildings at the end, the faction can be vulnerable to simply being smashed and then when the final scoring comes around, well, your score is very poor because of it. So that's basically it. These new locations, common locations, then will give access to the players uh, to the the gears and so you can shuffle these in and make that resource make that concept available to all the factions and they have uh, a few of them that will give you that gear there some of them you can raise for that gear right there so that's what these do and there's, it's a nice amount of variety that they add to the deck and then these of course give you the idea of open production, which we found in the first expansion, Why Can't We Be Friends? That's basically it. The uh, As you can see here, all the factions in the Atlanteans have a nice watery background. And it just it looks very nice placed up against the player board here. So as you're building up, you will see that you know you have that nice look to it with the water on this side, the land on this side, so the, the game is really quite beautiful. But that's the basic concept. Score as much as you possibly can during the game, because at the end of the game, all of these on this side will go away. One thing I really like about this box is that it includes a nice amount of content. It has the faction, like the original games, with the 30 cards. Then it gives you the 10 cards that would have been included in Why Can't We Be Friends. Awesome. That means if you like those open, open productions, if you like some of the new stuff that was added, if you'd like to deck build, boom, that comes right built in here. New common locations. Awesome. That means you can throw that in there and give access to the new resource, basically, gears, right, the technology, to every faction if they happen to draw it from the common pile. I like uh, the new resource itself. is a really cool concept. Makes sense. It's straightforward. Very clean and, and, and smart design there. The faction itself is neat. I keep getting slammed around with this faction. I, it's the kind of faction that is really tricky to do well with in my opinion. And... I've yet to win with them, actually, because they're really tough to figure out, or they have been for me. Is that bad? No, that's that's interesting, and it's very engaging, and I do like what they do, because I'm the kind of player who likes to, to make combos and just churn them out anyway during the game. That's one of the things I really enjoyed in 51st State, which is a, a card game that this evolved from, and so this faction gives me some of that flavor back some of that i gotta make cool combos and keep powering them up now because at the end of the game all this stuff is gone now 
I've not been able to win with them. So that's been difficult. But I'm enjoying that that process. I'm really enjoying playing them. I think that the artwork in the faction is really neat. I like the look. I like the powers. Having those gears is amazing and makes you feel powerful in-game, which I think is is a really cool concept for a a light sieve building game if you would you know it's it's a card game but it has that vibe so i recommend this for somebody who is very experienced with the game you've played the four included factions to death you want to try something new something interesting then this is great and it is not more of the same which would have been easy to do right so props for that for really going outside the box and doing something really interesting and unique for the first faction expansion. However, if you do not have the first expansion, Why Can't We Be Friends, then I absolutely recommend you get that one first. I would not say get this if you're a brand new player, and I would not say get this if you don't have the first expansion. That first one opens up the game in a much more gentle way, in a much more... Uh, hand-holding way maybe I don't know if that's the right term but it's it's a it's a much smoother transition than going hey here's a brand new resource that works completely different to everything you know and all these faction cards are gonna sink and good luck boom here you go so check that out first but if you've played the game a lot you like the game like I like the game and you're you're you know you're ready for some some more depth no pun intended then you gotta check this one out, Atlanteans. I think it's an awesome expansion, a tricky expansion, a difficult concept, but very cool. One I intend to keep on exploring more and more. So check this one out, folks. Atlanteans for Imperial Settlers. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.